and I will vid zero nine zero back here with another video uh, tonight now. And tonight's video is just my review on the game that just finished between the Raiders and the Sharks uh, up at Seabar Super Stadium. And obviously, the Raiders just won 34 points to 18. So, we look back to back wins for the Raiders now. I mean, they haven't really done that since round round one and two. That's the last time they've had back to back wins. And yeah, um, you know, since then, they haven't had much success. And now they've got back to back wins. And obviously, they seem to be pretty confident as a team and they seem to have found a bit of momentum now in the squad and um yeah, I think they they could be on the up on the upper camera if they can string a couple of wins together. But um, you know, it's a very uh tight race that seventh and eighth spot especially. But um yeah, important win there for the Raiders. Um you know, as for the Sharks, I just thought the Sharks, you know, at, at the start, they kept them giving away too many penalties, and for themselves especially, they kept making too many errors, which put them under a lot of pressure. And that's where the shark, that's where the Raiders scored their points. Sorry, um, off the back of you know stupid Cronulla errors and stupid penalties they give, kept giving away, and that's where the Raiders took advantage of that, and that's where their points came from. You know, um, and you know, you know, full credit to Raiders. I thought the Raiders were very good, good tonight. They deserve the win. I mean, Xavier Savage is, is just going to get better as a player. I think he's incredible, Xavier Savage. He's got some really good, um, yeah, really good raps on him as well, which it's probably well deserved those sort of raps on him. And um, yeah, he's got a big, fu big future, I reckon, Xavier Savage. So hopefully, you know, it's the first game of many for him. And look, I really think you know he's got a, a big future in front of him because that game last night and probably the game last week against my Seagulls, um, he was very good. Xavier Savage was everywhere. Looks pretty dynamic with his speed and his awareness, and um, got, a, got, got a great strong running game, which I really like. He's got a good running game, so that's another thing I really like about that, him as well. So yeah, um, he was good, and also I feel like that you know, Semi Valame wasn't that bad in the wing. I thought he was actually okay. I thought, um, oh, oh yeah, Corey Harawira Naira. You know, he was fantastic, Corey Harawira Naira. I haven't really seen much of him this year because I feel like he's been a bit down in form in most recent weeks, but. I feel like tonight. I feel like tonight he's definitely stepped up as a player. I think he was really good. He made tons of offloads. I saw and he was making heaps of meters and good runs. And um, no, it was it was a good performance. Like Corey Harawi Renara, you know, if he can stay out of trouble, he can be a great player. I mean, we've all seen this before. How good he can be if he remains consistent. Corey Harawi Renara, CHN. So yeah, good to see him have a good game. Um, but you know, the Sharks. That was just disappointing, really. I, I thought the only good players of the Sharks were. Ronaldo Molotalo, but he had a couple of errors in his game. I thought, you know, another player that was okay for the Sharks was um, the um, the center, Jesse Ramian. I thought he wasn't, wasn't that bad. But other than that, the rest of the team was pretty dead average, I'm being honest. I mean, too many errors um, from their forwards especially. You know, their, their forward pack was, was real let down. I feel like the Raiders, like guys like Tarpany, uh, Hogson when he moves to lock. Now, this, before I get into the other stuff, I just want to say, this is why the Raiders have turned it around, because they've moved, uh, after a couple of minutes, they moved Josh Hogs into lock, and then Tom Starling comes on at hooker. So, like, I think around the 25th minute, I'm pretty sure, um, Josh Hogs starts a hooker, obviously, to start the match, and Tom Starling's at jersey 14. So, when it gets to the 25th minute in the game, they move um, Tom Starling to the hooker position in the 25th minute, then Josh Hogs and Rose Hates in the hooker position down to the lock position. So... That's where I feel like the Raiders are getting most mostly out of their um, teams where Hogs and Moose are lock and Tom Stein's a hooker. I think I think that's where they get all the points from because they scored consecutive points now thirty um, like 30, 30 points consecutively. So yeah, I think it's a real factor in why they're scoring points if you ask me. But yeah, the forward pack they just dominated the Sharks. I feel like you know they really uh, roll rampage there the Sharks pack and I feel like you know the Sharks were. Good in patches, but they're not consistent. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Sharks, were, if Sharks were to make finals, they wouldn't go that far. But even the Raiders, if Raiders made the finals, somehow they wouldn't go far either. It's just, it's just that both teams are very inconsistent, and I still can't trust both of them when um, it comes to um, when they play games against Panthers, Storm, you know, Eels, Souths, teams like that. I just don't think they've got the caliber to kind of go ahead with those teams. But, you know... Anyway, good win, for, good win for the Raiders. They needed that to keep their season alive. And that's the Sharks. Well, it doesn't help because, you know, obviously Sharks want to try and keep trying their best to cement a top eight spot. But to lose a game like that, it's um, definitely not going to help their case, does it? So, yeah, good win to the Raiders. But, guys, end of the review. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And, not, and Storm and Knights is about to start any second. going to turn the... Um, 
yeah, turn the TV on, I could turn it off and I before I did the review. But yeah, guys, see you in another video.